Hello, Fruit Force. This is Captain Drew reporting for duty, and today I want to talk about our most recent video game pickup adventure and what we got. So I hope you sit back and enjoy the video. All right, Fruit Force, so the day didn't start really good. We went to Salvation Army, we went to Goodwill, and it was a complete bust. You know, we didn't get anything. There wasn't any cheap games that were good deals. Uh, all I saw was a bunch of low, like, dollar tier sports games. And I usually don't pick up those unless I need cases. And I don't even usually like to get them that way because usually that they cost around $3 a piece. And it's just not worth it at that price. And some when I, they, if I can find them cheaper, I get them just for the cases in case I have bad cases and they're universal. I can swap them out. In this case, we went home. It was a pretty much a bust, not a good one. But then I was checking online like I usually do. I, I shop multiple different areas, and that's one of the ways we save a lot of money, by the way. And I found a great Craigslist deal. So if you didn't, if you weren't familiar. We tend to not go and we never pay full price for a game and we don't tend to go out and get much when they're new. We tend to get them a little or we buy them in lots and groups and things like that. Or they're on sale sometimes at uh, GameStop. We'll pick them up three for ten or uh, buy one, get one free, buy two, get one free, buy two, get two free. Recently we did. Uh, but but nonetheless, we didn't. We went to a retro game store. We didn't find anything. We just didn't have a good source, a good day there. Another way, though, we do get them is from Goodwill and things like that. But once again completely dry this time it, those are always hit and miss sometimes we get some some decent stuff sometimes we don't we haven't had a lot good a lot of luck with controllers and consoles that way uh, usually those we find on craigslist offer up let go uh facebook marketplace things like that well anyway we had a complete bust i went home i started researching and then i found a really good deal i contacted the person asked them what they wanted for it and and, and so anyway Let's look at this pickup. I spent $40 on this, $40 for this pickup. So let's go over what I got and see how well I did. Now, first thing I did get here is a Model 2 Sega Genesis. I already tested all this. It works perfect. It works great. I used my power supply in hookup though because the power supply was fine, but the uh, hookup was missing some pins. So uh, I think I have a spare one of those, but if not, this alone, usually the uh, Sega Genesis Mark II goes for base unit, just this alone goes for around $17 to $21. So there we go. Once again, I spent 40, so not a bad start. I plan on selling this. I already have a Sega Genesis Mark II. Um, by the way, if, if you're interested in any of these items that I have on this pickup, contact me in the comments. I'm sure we can work something out. So once again, this is fully functional, working great. So that was a good deal so far, not bad. Uh, the next one I picked up, you, um, I'm going to cut to another video here because I already hooked it up. I left it hooked up, and that is a PlayStation 3 Super Slim. All right, so here it is. I got this Super Slim unit. It's a, it's only the 12 gigabyte. It didn't come with any controllers, but it did come with the HDMI cable, the uh, power supply cable as well. Uh, it did it have, though, it, was, it wasn't the cleanest, so I cleaned it up. One thing I did notice is this person had his name written on it too, and I cleaned that name all off there. It opens up to you there. It's all good and clear. It all works out good there. But it had his name written on it in black marker, and but once again, black marker is great to take off easily with a rag and isopropyl alcohol, so I took care of that real easy and tested it, booted it up, and everything worked great. So there we go. Not a bad score. That goes for around $77. All right, so as you see, I got a PlayStation Super Slim, not the biggest hard drive one, but that's okay. I use that one for playing on the back with the kids and things from, from multiplayer games. Otherwise, I use the TV that I got the monitor in front of me right now uh, with another PlayStation. But I had a play, if you weren't following my channel and my Twitter account, 
I recently had two PlayStations die. Well, one sort of died. One completely died. Uh, well, first what happened was we had a power spike uh, that a couple days before and turned it on and it killed the HDMI output. So the HDMI output died, but it actually works on the other output. So I'm going to hook that to a CRT TV and use that for CRT stuff. Well, what happened is I replaced it with another backup unit I had and it was updating and our power went out while I was updating and it bricked the system. Uh, I have not had any luck afterwards getting that thing to work. So bricked that one. So I said, oh crap. So I need another PlayStation 3. And so I was actually looking for a PlayStation 3. And that's how I stumbled onto this good deal with a lot of whole lot of stuff. So anyway, I got that PlayStation 3. And here we go. I got this here, uh, Red. 20. This is the 25th uh, Mario Anniversary Wii. As you see, it's missing the cover. Almost every time you find these used, this is always broken off. It's like constantly. This one's in somewhat decent condition. Uh, besides that, it's a little scratched on the top. Now uh, the thing is, the person, I'm not going to show his name, wrote his name on the bottom side of each one. That's not a problem. If you have that happen and it's on plastic like this, you can usually take it off with very cheap isopropyl alcohol and a rag. So I'm going to be doing that. I've already done it to some of the discs they have, that it, with it too because I got a lot of systems and games for $40. So anyway, that was this. And this, uh, these red ones, this one with its condition can probably go this way because it's red. These are much more rare and tend to go for more. Even base like this with base, with nothing else included. You see it on eBay all the time. I should be able to get 80 for this. Now, also that came with it is another red one. And this one's in better condition. It's not all scratched up and stuff, but it's still once again broken off the front here. But these are awesome because these can use the older controllers that everybody tends to love. The GameCube controller as well as backwards compatible uh, with GameCube games. And once again... Uh, this one with the better condition should sell for around $90. I also got the red controller here, the Wii Motion Plus. I'm going to keep this one because I, you know, these are all, I always love to have extra controllers and things. Once again, names on it, but I'll cut, take that right off with some very easy isopropyl alcohol. Great way to do that. You can also do that and cut on the top of uh, discs. Just be very careful. Don't rub too much or do it too hard. You'll actually start taking the, the cover off the disc. But you have to be very careful, but you can do it. And I'm going to be doing that some, and I've done it a lot already in the past. If you want to see a video on that, let me know. So here we go. Is this? I didn't even factor that into the overall price. All right, so I'm going through here, and I have this big box of stuff. So let's see what I dug into, okay? And I got a lot of loose discs as well. So here we are. I got a loose disc, GTA uh, 4, and this is for PlayStation Greatest Hits. And right now this tends to sell for around $7.04, 7 bucks. You know, that nothing major there. So I'm go I got loose discs and covered ones. Uh, Mar uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 for the PlayStation 3. Loose disc goes for around $4.40. Once again, paid $40 for the lot. Xbox, original Xbox, Battlefield 2 Modern Combat, $2.99. Nothing super special. Some of these are going to need some buffing and some cleaning. Uh, usually you can take them to a store or you can do it yourself. Doing it yourself is not as good. You know, with those cranking units or those powered units, eh, they're hit and miss. I don't recommend it. I recommend having them clean and reconditioned at a store. They can usually do them very cheap for you, depending on the price. And I, I'm going to test them all first. And I've tested some more already, even the ones that look pretty bad where we're still working. But I don't like selling them that way. I like to make sure they're good and clean. Call of Duty Black Ops 3 for the Xbox 360 goes for around $9.49. All right, here we go. Once again, whenever you buy lots, you tend to get tons of sports games. And those are quite the letdown because they don't go for crap. And if they do, they have to be pretty recent within usually the last three to five years. They even have much. And this one is MLB The Show 15. And believe it or not, loose cart right now. This is still going for around $9.56. So I hope to be selling that quickly. Well, those got to sell as fast as you can because they're going to lose their value every year. Uh, we have for PlayStation 3 NBA 2K10. Okay, so there we go, and that's going around 975. And by the way, if you're wondering where I'm getting these prices, I'm getting them from PriceCharting.com. You can look at that; show us what they average go for on eBay, as well as in other ways, based on if they're just disc only, case only. It gives you a pretty good preview of what you can expect to get. And I have to say, I usually hold pretty close to that, and be able to sell them for around those prices. If I sell in a bundle or something like that with like three games or something, I'll knock the price down a little bit, but nonetheless, still good. Because remember, I paid forty dollars for this whole lot. The next one is Xbox 360 Batman Arkham Asylum Game of the Year Edition, $4.19. Not a super big deal, but still, it works, right? <laughs> okay, uh, so the next one here, let me pull this one up, uh, is Madden 
NFL 2017. Once again, not the real old yet. So this one, believe it or not, still sells for about $23, $22.99. So here we go, PlayStation 3. So I need to get rid of that quick. Uh, this next one is one I'm probably going to keep for myself. I'm keeping the PlayStation 3, of course. I'm going to be selling the Wii's. I'm going to sell the Genesis. I'm selling all these games except for the ones I'm telling you about, probably. And that is uh, Far Cry 4. Uh, I put it in an envelope here. Far Cry 4. It's going to need some cleaning. I'm going to get clean for me. Uh, this one tends to go for around $6.50. I have 1, 2, and 3 in Blood Dragon. I didn't have 4 yet. So this is going to work out good for me. So there we go. That one, That's a keeper for me. And the next one is for the Nintendo Wii open cart. It was uh, new Carnival Games. It goes for around $7.20. So, eh, not too bad. Now the next one here I got is like, oh, Madden 2017. Okay, this one. Uh, this is the box for it. I don't I just realized that I had it and uh, I couldn't find it here it is I got the box for it so that's actually going to increase the value of that by a little bit there so I'm gonna put this aside and increase that all right got Namco Museum Mega Mix I thought and I opened it up and unfortunately empty so I'll be using this case unless I can get this game maybe for like a dollar or something like that find I'll keep the case for it if not I can always sell uh the case later and this one my little girl was really happy about at first and it's dora uh, saves the crystal kingdom and unfortunately no game <laughs> so got two cases without games it, that happens once in a while because people just don't take care of their stuff at least I, I you know i don't understand that but i'll maybe try to find the games for it for cheap who knows and i'll take care of it that way all right so let's move on to my next stack of things shall we this one really shocked me when I got this I, I never expected to have this and it I did not expect it and this is a good deal right here Sonic and Knuckles and this goes for around 1849 if you're not familiar you can open this up actually and put the game in there and it enhances it gives you even more stuff so this is a for Sega Genesis Sonic and Knuckles goes for around 1849 loose like this really impressed it actually had his name written right across here and once again using isopropyl alcohol and being really careful came right off so I was really happy about that this next one's big though big <laughs> and i say that jokingly it's barney's hide and seek for the sega genesis <laughs> uh, i hate barney but you know it is what it is i've never cared for barney uh so this one tends to go for about 467 four dollars 67 cents that's not a big winner there sorry once again for the noise can't control everything now continuing going in here uh the next one here uh, I've got UFC 3, or Undisputed 3, UFC Undisputed 3, case, box, manual, everything's in there. And this tends to go for around $15.37. And to be honest, I've been wanting a UFC game. I don't have one, so I might keep this one. Our next one is another one that I'll definitely be selling too, Call of Duty Black Ops. I've got three copies of this already, I believe, maybe even more. Uh, this goes for around eight ninety five because it's complete. Uh, it does have his name on, it, on the disc. I'll be cleaning that off, so should be really no problem there. Once again, if you're interested in these, let me know in the comments. We'll probably work something out, okay? Um, all right, here. Uh, the next one's got his name on it, too. It is Need for Speed, Most Wanted. Need for Speed. I'm covering up his name because I don't want to be a jerk. And that goes for around $9.36. I'll be able to clean that right off. Once again, real easy too. The isopropyl alcohol, I always keep that right in here just for that. That uh, This next one here, it sort of surprised me a little bit. It's Madden 16, um, the deluxe edition. So there we go, is that. And once again, it's a book, manual and everything. So this tends to go for right now around $13.22. Once again, their sports games are a little harder to sell. I won't expect to get quite that much for them. Uh, but the quicker you can ditch them, the better off you are. Unless you want to keep them, you know, and it's good. I keep a football game here and there. I do enjoy playing them, but I, I don't have to have the newest one at all times. I just don't care about that. So keeping one or two is good enough for me. This next one is Tiger Woods PGA Tour 10. There we go. And this goes for around $7.21 because it has the book and uh, the game there. Complete. Once again, around $7.21. This next one is uh, NBA 2K16. Once again, see tons of sports titles whenever you buy these lots. Uh, book and Kate, uh, everything complete though, so that's good. That helps a little bit, and that goes for around $8.92 right now. So I'm going to be doing a blowout of sports games. I'll be putting these up on, on several selling sites pretty soon. Now this next part surprised me a little bit. and It's the Show 16. Uh, I can't believe this goes for this much. Maybe if you know anything about it, why this goes for so much, let me know. This sells right now for around $20.84. Uh, 
it's I don't know why. I, I <laughs> why? But here's the kicker. He had two of them. So now I got two of these. I don't plan on keeping either one. Uh, box, disc, everything. So hey, twenty dollars eighty four cents. The next one I got here is NBA two K fifteen. NBA two two K fifteen complete. Uh, and this one goes for around five dollars and seventy one cents. Once again, these are all for sale. Uh, NLB 07. NLB The Show 07. I'm sorry. The Show. And this goes for around $4.27. It is complete. Complete. So $4.27. So if you need a baseball game, let me know. <laughs> now, so far, if you notice the thumbnail, I made it sound like it's a big deal. Um, this was the shocker. As I said, sports games usually are not worth a crap. But you do got to keep your eye open and be aware of what goes for what. And when I got to this one... I was shocked. I was like, you've got to be freaking kidding me. This one pays for the whole lot, pretty much. I shouldn't have any problems selling this. The case is garbage. I'm going to replace the car, the, cover, uh, the case, and I'm going to also replace it with a repro cover. I'm going to make sure it's right on there, repro cover. When I sell them, I'm going to tell somebody to repro cover. What I'm going to do is put it in another PlayStation case that's much more clean and things like that because I've got the instruction manual and the game for NCAA Football 14. NCA football with the instruction manual. Okay. Let me pull that out right here. The black light instruction manual, little little manual manual here, but I just don't have the cover. So I'm gonna be swapping that out with a good case. And why? Why? It's a cheap sports game, right? Well, this particular sports game is not cheap. Right now, open the disc on, disc only, not with the instructions. Okay. Just disc only, it goes for good. With the instructions, it goes for $120. This game right now is going for $120 with just the disc and the instructions without the case. So, of course, when I put the case, it's just to make it nice. It's not to add. I'm not going to trickery in anybody tell them it's the original case. I'm going to put repo, uh, repro on that part. $120. So, $120. I was like, yes, score. Because once in a while you get really lucky. You know, that's one of the great things about uh, Salvation Army, Goodwill, things like that. Because you can find those great deals. I struck out, but I could not believe it with this when I got it. So anyway, I spent a total, are you ready? This is, I'm gonna show you how much it's valued at total lot as well as how much I paid it. Once again, I paid $40 for a total lot. It, it valued us around $611.41, $611.41. I'm gonna be keeping the PlayStation, I'm gonna be keeping Far Cry, or I'll probably keep the Sonic and Knuckles. Everything else will probably be for sale. Uh, so we're looking at with paying forty dollars once again, again six hundred eleven dollars and forty one cents. Now I'm not going to get dead, dead on that. It's probably when I get done selling, it's probably going to be like five hundred. Um, I'll offer deals for you know con or whatever you know. But the goal is I take that money and I take the profit and I put it on other other games and comic books and things like that and continue. This is how we get the game that we have. Anyway, six hundred eleven dollars forty one cents minus the forty dollars that we paid. We're looking around a five hundred seventy one dollar and forty one cent profit. So. In real, realism, we're looking at probably 450 to 500 if I can get rid of them fast. And that's going to be great because I've been, you know, I use that to get the other stuff what we want. Like right now, we want some PlayStation Move controllers. They went up astronomically, haven't had any luck. But there we go. There we have it. An awesome score. Once again, if you're interested in any of these, let me know in the comments. We can maybe work something out to help you out too. Uh, you know, and I'll be kind, of course. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed it. I was quite happy and excited. This was probably one of our best scores yet. Uh, I can't wait to, to sell those systems and things. Absolutely wonderful pickup. Thank you for watching this video. And maybe try to use some of these tools yourself. Once again, Salvation Army, Goodwill. We go to garage sales. You know, we check Facebook Marketplace, let go, offer up, Craigslist, other things like that. And you jump on them as quick as you can. I have a little portable TV to test stuff if I need to. Sometimes I mistake and don't. And I always should. I've... I've but I've had one time where I didn't end up with a dead unit, but I actually was able to fix it. But thank goodness for that. But it doesn't always work out that good. So just be very careful because some people are not open and honest. And when I sell, I always make sure I'm honest too. Tell them the condition, everything. Be, you know what? I think that's very important. Your name matters. If somebody goes, oh, yeah, they sell me crap, they're going to know it. So I test things before I sell them and check them out. And I try to do everybody the best I can. All right, well, thanks for watching. Sorry about the noise. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, help share the videos. And you know what? Remember, if you're a collector and you see two, maybe leave one for the next person or spread the goodwill, share with other people, give them good deals too. Let's help each other out. All right, until next time, keep it frugal.